Megan, I'm really going to try to be an adult about this and eat a cookie and not be totally wigged out. But why did you have to pick crickets? Crickets are a really close analog to crabs and lobsters and other foods that Americans already eat, but they're extremely sustainable. They can be raised from egg to adult in just six weeks, and they use hardly any water at all. And we have a couple of bags here of cookies uh, that's made with this cricket flour. How many crickets go into, say, one cookie? There's probably about 25 crickets in each cookie, and they're very high in protein. So that raises a question for me, Megan. You know, I like to cook, and I do some baking. Flour, all-purpose flour, is typically somewhere between 10 and 12 percent protein. It's mostly starch. Mm -hmm. Cricket flour, I have to assume, is a good deal higher when it comes to the protein percentage, with, which raises some questions for me about how easy it is to bake with. Right. So Biddy Foods developed a all-purpose flour that is based on cricket flour, but it also contains those functional starches that you need to be able to make beautiful mm -hmm. baked goods. And um, if you used pure cricket powder, you would get about 70 grams of protein per cup, but you wouldn't get the baking functionality. Right. So Biddy Foods flour has about 28 grams of protein per cup, which is significantly higher than any other flour out there. And you get sustainable protein um, that you can use to make your cookies or muffins or whatever. But the point here is ultimately <laughs> to, to sell the, the flour and ultimately the cookie, I guess, as what? It's a, pro, it's, it's a protein alternative to meat or to soy or to, or is it something else or is it just a great tasting cookie? Well, actually, what we're doing is creating a range of food products that are all enhanced with this sustainable protein because what we're looking at is uh, a future in which protein is going to be less available than it is today and meat is going to be more expensive. So what Biddy Foods is trying to do is harness a new kind of protein and bring it into the food system so that we can help to uh, feed millions of people who may not have access to you know, available protein all the time. And you mentioned, you know, the other types of protein getting more expensive, but a bag of flour from you can cost about $20 versus a few bucks that I might pay at my local grocery store for just regular old white flour. Um, what's it going to take for your cost to come in line? Yeah, well, you know, our costs are going to come down as the um, market for edible insects scales. But honestly, it's not a, um, it's not a real comparison with regular flour. Um, this is going to be on par with the price of soy, I think, in a couple of years. And a better comparison would be to compare crickets to soy, which is another, you know, alternative source of protein. And it actually takes about 280 gallons of water to grow one pound of soy, and it takes one gallon of water to grow one pound of crickets and as more farmers start uh, growing crickets that we can use um, in our food production the price is going to come way down. Megan, Alex knows that I don't have an issue with insect protein. Uh, when I was in Brazil a couple of months ago I went to an insect farm. We're actually showing a picture of me eating a black cricket. Uh, it wasn't <laughs> live, it was dried which is the way to go. Um, how do you get the rest of America, and for that matter, the rest of the world that doesn't already consume insect protein? Because there are populations in Mexico, for example, where crickets are uh, a staple part of the diet. But how do you get everybody else on board with the idea of insect protein? Right. So right now around 80% of the world's cultures already eat insects. It's really only the Western world, like the U.S. and Western Europe, that's sort of the holdout to eating insects. And that's exactly why we started turning them into a powder. And, um, and this allows us to incorporate them into familiar foods that Americans are already used to eating, like our cookies. And really, at the end of the day, we're not a cookie company, but cookies are an interesting um, talking point, and they're shareable, and they're something that people can start with to, um, to taste this new protein in a way that's not scary. Because it's not the flavor that's the problem. The insects are already quite tasty. They just need to, you know, you need to get away from the form factor. and take away any creepy crawly factor, which is why you turn them into a powder. I mean, if people are prepared to eat shrimp or they're prepared to eat crabs, for example, why wouldn't they well, eat a cricket? Well, let's just do this because I'm the one who's really creeped out about it. Eric's like, whatever, I'll eat bugs, doesn't matter. I'm the one. So, Megan, totally we're about to try out. the chocolate chip Biddy Foods With cookie. 28 crickets in one of these cookies. Okay, you first. I'm in. They smell good. Oh, God. Tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. 
Megan, you've done well. Thank you. Yeah, they're tasty. They are. I just I'm having a psychologically a hard time. I'm trying to. No, be there's adult. nothing wrong. Look, the I mean, Megan. <laughs> like I'm like looking to see if I can find any. Very in here.